guys, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22. We are back here on Alpental, and we are working on the oat field harvest, pretty much where we left off the last time. I did take the wheat up, put it in the silo, and... Uh, did a couple things. I'll show you here in a minute. Um, for today, though, we are going to get a forage wagon. We're going to get this straw picked up. Um, put some in the composter. get that process started and we will put some in cow barn and we've got to decide <clears throat> what we're going to do for hay for the cows Whether we want to put down one of the hay drying um, silos, or whether we actually want to bale hay on here. Um, obviously, it's more expensive and a bigger process to actually make hay bales um, but on our last map which we were working on which was Zalonka we did not do A on that map uh, we just made we just cut the grass and Put it into a hay drying silo. So we'll see what kind of mods we might have installed to see whether or not we want to go that route again or whether we want to actually bail. Um, so last episode we, as you can see I did buy a, <clears throat> a uh, header trailer. Um, yeah, last episode we started um, this outfield in front of us, and then we just went straight across, and I didn't realize as I was doing that, that was actually a wheat field over there. So we ended up losing about a thousand liters, I would say, of because I thought it just converted it, but as I was rendering the video, um, it literally emptied that out so we lost that thousand liters of oats which is okay not a big deal now as you can see this is quite challenging um, driving in this map if a car wants if a car is coming the opposite direction and as you can also see it's very hard to see because of the trees and now I got myself into a problem here um, Come on now. 
there's just um, literally no room. Um, you can't, you know, to come down here into town or what have you, you can't make turns. Like, traffic is going to be a huge nightmare. Um, I do not... really know where I'm going yet. This is, yeah. Getting around the farmyard is even worse. It's really, really hard. So for us to try to do what we need to do, it's just really super difficult. Um, I'm considering getting rid of this cow barn here um, Um, I don't know. I didn't think this was going to be as big of a deal. But it is a big deal. We need to smooth that out a little bit. Um, and we almost need to come clear over... Just can't see nothing. Over here, just let this be off the beacons. Because now we got to come around and we got to get the trailer out so that we can. out. As a matter of fact, just do it here. As you can see, I don't know if it's any easier in cab. It is. Just getting it around this um, farm is pretty dang challenging. Left the nugget in here.
Yeah, I can't. I just can't tell where I'm going. Half the time. But we'll try to get it figured out. Um, do I still have a piece of? I do. I missed a piece of fence. under it over here. Not much. So there would have been about 5,000 liters. We lost about a thousand liters. I didn't help myself putting this shed here, but I would have had the same problem. Originally, there was a fence right here, so that would have been a challenge in and of itself also. So hopefully... This way. Yes, yeah, so as you guys can see, not easy. Get in and out. Load those here, and even though we have the push, there still is some clipping going on there. And uh, I think. Yeah. Go ahead and drop that there. Yeah, so I'm open to suggestions um, with regard to, as you guys see me try to navigate around this farm, what you think uh, we should do. Um, let me show you a couple things. Um, just given the nature of trying to get around everywhere, um, I have taken the liberty to put down a couple mods. I u I'm using this uh, water pump here, which is feeding the orchard or the maple syrup. I did go ahead <coughs> and put down another one here. Um, interestingly, one of these is getting water from the one feeding the maple syrup. So we'll see how this is going to work. So that's, this is feeding these two um, Greenhouse, greenhouses, so we can we can actually activate those. Um, yeah, so this says it's like a billion liters, so it's 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 just unlimited unlimited water tap. It's just a water tap that's piped into the greenhouses, so there's automated watering. Um, uh, 
I think... Let me look at one thing quick. Cell point. Okay, so it doesn't actually tell you. I think I need to change the selling point. So, on the original orchards I put down, um, there's one that says revamp edition and one that does not. I don't know if these are identical or not, but I had originally put down the orchards that were the non-revamp. I had put these ones down, regular revamp edition. The revamp edition gives you the opportunity to begin to produce fruit with water only. So if we go back to production and we look at apples, if you put water in, you'll get apples. If you put water in plus the fertilizer and the compost, you'll get a boost in production. All right, so we want to do that, but we can get started with just water by itself. <clears throat> so that's good. So, um, maybe we'll just for now activate everything. Saying you're missing. Oh, no. We will deactivate. We activate. All right. So we need to get the compost and the fertilizer going before we can get the fruit. The house is going. And the, the fertilizer is going to be bought. The compost is going to have to be produced. We could probably buy it. Do they sell it? I don't know what that is. Yeah, they do sell compost. It is cheap. So we could do that. And I do believe pallets we have. As you would expect, not so cheap. So we'll have to get that rolling as well. Um, for now, though, let's take a look what we got man they're expensive really can't afford to have a big one. Maybe we can... Silage additive 2000. Silage additive with larger capacity for 5000.
silage added of 60. Might as well do the silage added of. So we'll go ahead and we'll buy this. Yeah, let's just buy something. For a change. Eh? Not modifying it greatly. Alright, so let's go get that straw picked up. See how we get along going down the road with this thing. I have a half a notion to try a shortcut down here. Yeah, so, full disclosure, I did pull those greenhouses, or the uh, orchards, and I just replaced them. Um, with the revamp mod version. So, actually, while we're here, let's shut this off. While we're here, let's go ahead and set up the water for these. Um, I think maybe we will try... This is under construction under silo extensions. <clears throat> this this one. Um, hopefully this will just work. Maybe set this over here. Get out of the way. So. And apples. Yep. Apples have water. Apricots have water. So we. And those are both active. Then plums. I already put one up there. And it has water. And syrup is being made, 24, 37, nothing yet, nothing yet, and we are, okay, okay that'll just help. It, it, like I said, this uh, map is so tight anyways, um, running around back and forth with tankers and tractor trailer tankers, because you need, you would need big ones you know, to produce the amount of water. Yeah, that would get tough. The, the cedars and the um, the cedars and the harvesters in that are going to be challenge challenging enough. So we'll put this down. Nobody's coming. On. Hopefully this has a decent pickup. And it doesn't really matter. Straw is straw. So, yeah. Goal is to get all of it into composter. 
Wrong way. Should get some pretty decent straw off of these fields. I I don't have any idea how much compost everything is going to go through. <laughs> so we will learn that together because I just don't know. Then we will probably have to basically just plow all of these fields like we usually do when we start out with precision farming. And uh, it's going to take at least a planting cycle to get things squared away. terms of our I'll come back and pick up these spots in terms of our score I'm sure you guys remember um, the environmental score dictates how much money you get you get a bonus a good vi environmental score so you want to do your best to get bottom score up to max. You can get a fairly decent percentage boost to sell your products. So as I'm doing this, uh, I promised you last episode I would say something and I didn't and then <clears throat> I told you at the end of last episode I'll tell you this episode so if you have and there aren't very many people I do understand that um, if you have followed around at all um, you probably would have heard me mentioning about my father being sick um, struggling a little bit and that got worse and I was out here I was just struggling a little bit with um, Knowing my dad was struggling so much, and here I am sitting, you know, playing games and stuff. It just didn't sit well with me. Um, well, here a few weeks ago, he passed away. He had a... We knew the long-term prognosis was not good. Um, there was nothing different about the day he passed than any of the days before that. So we did not have a strong indication on the day that he passed that something was going to happen. And quite frankly, um, thankful my brother was able to be there with um he was at home and it was very fast 
and very peaceful. And is now uh, looking down from heaven above. So, not to be a big downer, <clears throat> it's not my intention. So then, you know, there was time where um, just once again wasn't really feeling it in terms of playing games and that kind of stuff. So it's been a couple months since I've put up any videos and trying to get my mojo back here and hopefully that'll happen we'll get some more regular stuff but I felt like um, a fresh start so I was just as as I was contemplating a time to get started again I was just doing a lot of looking at uh, mod map reviews trying to find something trying to figure out what I wanted to do um, that I'll do something different um, and I stumbled across this one <clears throat> and decided that uh, it kind of struck a chord with me like I said I like the alpine idea I like the pine trees and the pine forest and the aspen trees and all of that. I'm just continuing to miss this spot. Um, so it felt right. I loaded it up. Um, got some ideas together regarding what all I wanted to do and um, here we are. Episode 2. And I'm feeling like... The farm is right there. So honestly, these fields... I took a long way trying to get down through the middle of town. Seems to me there was a better way to do that. Let's go up this road. Oh, there's a big one or other. Can I? completely winging it here. I feel like the farm is this direction. I nuts? Left. Sorry, I was looking at the Easy there, buddy, blowing your horn. Down this way. See the uh, bees' nests, the bees' hives, that's what they are. Beehives. Yeah, so maybe the idea would be to um, not take the main roads and take these back roads. Which quite honestly, are probably farm roads anyways. Take these dirt roads around. Do a little bit better.
So I'm pretty happy with the layout of the farm. You guys can let me know what you think. Uh, I'll show you where we're going to put down the compost. We've got honey already. I'm going to put down the compost bin if I can ever find it again. So... me we need to put one of those down yeah right here so I think we're gonna put it right there That looks... rotten, grassy. Okay, so this is going to be 60,000 liters. You have to bear with me because I got to tell you, these trees are killing me. Um, I am not great at silage pits. So that is empty. Yeah, so it's a little bit sketchy there. I thought it would just unload. Alright, so I'm going to get the rest of this picked up. And I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, welcome back. We are finishing up. I had two full loads, <clears throat> and then this. So, um, thirty-eight thousand. I just gotta put that.
So if I remember right, I'm so surprised that gate doesn't open, but I guess it does not. Is there a gate here? There is. Well... Um... Gate. Let's see if this will actually dump straw. I, truth be told, did not put that tree in a very good spot, now did I? this in here. Question mark. Yes, we can. See what this takes. But it took all that. Can't look at it because I don't have any cow. Alright, so. That will be it for straw for season one. this for something destructive. It's dang close. It's dang close. Alright, that's not good enough, but then the other thing we need to do and I have no idea probably want this, how long this is going to take. Hopefully not forever. That was 13% right there. Too bad. Director back, back up. These trees, bro, I love them. Don't go too far over. Don't squish it too far out. Slower. Uh, gonna have to get a big bucket.
percent contract. Get. Okay. All right. So that takes care of that. just park under here. I don't have any hay yet. So yep, left this running figures. Don't have any hay yet, so can't get the cows yet. Also is let me show you what I got here quick before we go. Um, chicken sure here. Chickens will roam freely. You can get four six fifty, I don't know. And this I put that down. This came with the map actually came with 60 sheep, but I sold those because I do want to get the young ones. But again, don't have the f yet, and we did put a water trough, a water thing down here for them. Should drink the side of the of water. Um, yeah, and that covers it. So that's going to do it for this episode. So thanks for watching, everybody. And we will see you next time right here on Alpental. And, um, yeah, we'll potentially get some grass cut. Decide what we're going to do with the hay silo. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Go from there. I already got honey spawn. Awesome. Alright, see you next time. Bye bye.